Last night, I had a dream about four characters loading onto one card to make something very powerful. I can't remember exactly what words I used to do a search, but I do see the word load in this article title and perhaps the word family in the article description pertains to the four characters. Anyhow, here are additional reasons a chip implant should give someone pause. The words enable voltage, human body model, and temperatures can impact device reliability. I also heard the words new world order last night, and no matter how much people may say it's a conspiracy theory, many secular companies are using the term widely themselves. Take this article, for example, Bank of America on the New World Order, Bigger Governments, Tech Wars, Less Privacy, and Health, the New Wealth, published May 15th of this year. Regarding less privacy, this article from Law.com reads, Could contact tracing in the COVID-19 era become unreasonable search? People should be very concerned about the privacy implications of these programs, which seek to gather personal information such as health and location data. With bigger governments, tech wars, less privacy, and health concerns, the mark required in order to buy and sell doesn't seem to be far off. And this verse can be found in Revelations. All, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, will be required to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead in order to buy and sell. Whatever the final form of the mark is, Revelation 14.11 says this, And the smoke of their torment ascends up forever and ever, and they have no rest day or night, who worship the beast and his image, and whoever receives the mark of his name. But remember, those who believe on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ will be saved. 1 Thessalonians 4.17 says, Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Praise the Lord, and together with them means those who have died before us, they will be resurrected to meet the Lord in the air as well. I had a dream about a huge event with multitudes of people. Everyone was gathered outside, even all the extra chairs that had been brought in in the final moments were filled. In my dream, there were symbolically 20 extra chairs that had been brought in symbolically. Symbolically numbered, the number 20 in the Bible represents completeness after a period of waiting, labor, or suffering that is compared to a trial and rewarded. For example, Jacob waited 20 years to get his brides and his property to be released from his father-in-law. Then I heard another number, 250. It seems that a representative half of the people, right hand, left hand, weren't safe. Matthew 25, 41 says, Then he will say to those on his left, Depart from me, you who are cursed, into the eternal fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. In the Bible, 250 people rebelled against Moses and were swallowed up by a fire. 250 can mean savage. In Chinese slang, 250 means idiot. This crowd tried to go in a side door. However, no one was being allowed in the side door. Everyone had to go through the main door. Jesus is the only door to an eternal life of peace, love, health, and joy. He is the resurrection and the life, and no one comes to the heavenly Father except through him. Amen. And once you believe in the death, burial, and resurrection of Christ, you receive him and you are sealed by him by the power of the Holy Spirit for the day of redemption. When is Jesus returning? He will return at the appointed time. 
could the restrainer of evil, the Holy Spirit, be removed with the bride of Christ on her birthday, the birth of the church, the day the Holy Spirit came to fill the believers like a wind on the day of Pentecost? I'm just asking the question, could it be? May 31st is the Pentecost on our calendar because it is 50 days, penta means 50, 50 days from Resurrection Sunday. Although I once heard the Lord say, sooner than you think, could that mean the Jewish Pentecost, 50 days after Passover, May 28th, 29th, Jerusalem time. As I was waking up this morning, I heard, 10. Could it be the start of a countdown? I just asked, could it be? While this gives believers in Jesus great joy and hope, we are to comfort one another with these words. It may scare others, and rightly so. Isaiah 48, 22 says, There is no peace, says the Lord, for the wicked. If this means hell, then the wicked should be scared and scared into heaven. Hopefully there is still time to receive Jesus. Last night in my dream, someone told me, so-and-so is the cocktail of Christianity. You're the hiccup. If that means what I think it does, then I'm in good company. Listen to these words from our brother, J.D. Pastor, you're scaring me. Good. I'd rather scare you into heaven than flatter you into hell. And you'll forgive me for the bluntness with which I say this, but if I need to scare the hell out of you in order to do that, so be it. I don't have permission from the Lord to get up here behind this pulpit, as is my privilege to do, and tell you everything's going to be okay, because it's not. I don't have a feel-good message. I don't have a message of peace, peace, when there's no peace. I don't have a message of, hey, we're all in this together. I don't have a message of, hey, we're going to get through this. We, we've been through worse before. We're strong. We're going to come back stronger. No, that's not what I see. I don't, I don't see that in here. I'm sorry. We'll see that in here. This brings me to what I mentioned at the beginning about the Christian having nothing to fear concerning what's coming. 